Yo, what's going on, y'all? Look, check this out, right? Um, this is a painting <clears throat> that I've been working on for a minute. I'm done with it now. But uh Basically, man, um uh, now I know it's not officially the holidays, but the holidays will be here sooner than you know it. It seems far away, but yet it's right around the corner. And it's a whole lot of stuff that I'm working on, that I've been drawing, that I've been painting, that I'm trying to go ahead and get out the way. So by the time the holiday season do come around, a lot of this stuff will already be done. And this right here is um <clears throat> something I came up with called the Christmas menu. Um, I, I I drew it, I painted it, and then I kind of like, you know, smeared it, decorated it a little bit with glitter. And uh, I, but I need to buy a frame. Like, you know, I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby, a home decor, or something, and give me a little frame. And it's basically like, you know, kind of like a traditional uh, Christmas menu. I should have put a turkey on here, but I didn't. But it's like, you know, the Christmas goose, honey glazed ham. You got the pumpkin pie, uh, sweet potato pie, the cheesecake, apple pie, cherry pie, and the key lime pie. And as you can see. I painted painted it all out, and I took some glitter, and I kind of like smeared it, smeared it all over the place uh, just to make it pop a little bit. But I'm going to buy a frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make copies of it because uh, I actually had people told me that they want to hang this in their living room uh, for on the holidays, and I got my signature on it too. I ain't gonna show it right now, but I do got my signature on it, uh, and I got it dated. Now, I'm gonna just go buy a frame. <clears throat> this is the original, so I'm gonna buy a frame and I'm gonna hang this up when the holidays come. Uh, make this be part of the decoration. Now, here, here's a funny story I want to tell y'all. Um, one time I was working at this job, right? Um, that I was uh in this job, you have to clean and you have to clean the carpets and you have to. You know, um, you have to like really, really fancy buildings that you got to clean, right? And it's probably like back when I was uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe 23, 24. And I saw that they were decorating for the holiday season. And they was drawing pictures of like Christmas characters and blah, 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 and stuff like that. And it was hanging up on the wall. But I, and check this out though. I'm so full of ambition and I'm so driven because I'm driven by pain. I'm driven by struggle. I'm driven by poverty. I'm driven by um, str struggling all the time, not living my dream, believing in what I really believe in. That what I did was I went and bought a canvas, right, from Walmart. And I painted Jack Frost on, on this canvas myself. And then I said, man, the next time I'm going to go to work and I'm going to clean up after this building, but I'm going to hang my picture up on the wall with my signature or whatever. And I'm going to record it, take a picture of it. And I did it. Guess what? On my day off, I went in that building just to see reactions. And I saw so many people that got careers there, that are rich there. Yes. Yes, these people had money. These people had big money and they were all taking pictures of my artwork and they was complimenting. They was like, who drew this? Oh my God, who is this? And they was looking at my signature, right? And they'd be like, this is amazing. Like, this is amazing. I did this on my job. I'm, 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 I'm so, I didn't got to the point. I'm so driven, dedicated and committed. I said, man, next time I go to work, I'm going to hang my own artwork on, on y'all walls, man. Now somebody going to know who I am. And, and and people was like, oh, my God, that's so beautiful. Who drew Jack Frost like that? And I kid you not, man. Somebody. I don't know who. But somebody had took my artwork and they threw it away. I guess they feel like, well, this is not part of our business. Blah, 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 whatever. And I was so mad. But I found out that people were angry that that picture got thrown away. Because they was like, whoever drew that. Um, they got some talent. Now I went back up to this building. I was like, "Hey, uh, what's the Jack the Jack Frost picture? I'm the one who drew it, and this and this." They were like, "They don't know what happened to whatever." And I got so mad and angry. I said, "You know what? I give up. I, I'm so tired. I'm give up." But when that happened, man, that just lets me further know. Now that's why you need to keep going. Why, uh, uh, for example, if you if you're not meant to be anything, why some always want to block you?
See, you got to ask yourself that question. I've been being blocked in every situation all my life when it comes to art, music, this, dance, Michael Jackson, whatever. I always being blocked or the one put under the shadow. But if I'm not meant to be anything or do anything, why you got to you got to you got to talk. You, you got to think like then why something always is constantly trying to block me from getting where I'm really meant to be. Because that's where you really meant to be. And something which I think is wickedness in the spirit world don't really want you to go there. Because if you do go there and that door do open for you, let God open that door for you right now. I'm telling you right now, you're going to change lives. Your whole world going to be something that you would never, ever dreamed it was going to be. Not only that, you're going to change lives of others. You're going to change the lives of your family, your loved ones, and those in need. You know how many lives you're going to... If, if you are the miracle that's going to make a change, do you know how many lives you're going to change? Do you know how many lives you can affect with your talent, your creativity? Everything that you got... I put more focus. I put more focus in my talent and my drawing and my passion and anything. I could be sick and I still put more focus in what I believe in, dog. And to be honest, I'm like, damn a job. Damn a dead end job. Now I will work a job. Lord know I've been I've been working since I was 16 years old. I will work a job if I know I got to. But my main focus and my main attention and my main and my main uh my main desire is not in no dead end nine to five job. There's no reason why God would give me this talent to say I just want you to work and struggle. What's the point of working if you always struggling and you got talent? What's the point of Blowing your back out for 10, 14, 15 hours for $200. Where well, you could do what you love to do for two hours and make $200,000 every month. Man, I don't know what dimension y'all come from, but yeah, I'm that one. I'm that one. I, I don't, I don't, I don't come from just, bro, I, we, we ain't from the same dimension. That's all I'm going to say. Over here, the Christmas margaritas. And, and I wouldn't even want, I didn't even want it to do this, but somebody told me to do this for them. Somebody else told me to do this for them because they were saying they want to hang this up on their wall for the holiday season. So I did it, but I said I'm going to make copies of it at, at a, at a, uh, at an art store that I know I said I'm going to make copies of it, put my original signal, uh, my signature on it to let them know this came from me. But they, they came up with this idea. You came up with the Christmas menu. They was like, man, can you do Christmas margaritas? Yes. And I did it. The Santa Claus, the Grinch, the Gingerbread Man, Frosty the Snowman, the Candy Cane, and Blue Christmas. You can make your own recipe. But I drew this out for them. There's no way I could sit up here and believe that God will say, let me give you talent and gifts and potentials and goals to say, hey man, you know how to design. Hey man, you know how to draw. Hey man, you good at singing. Hey man, you know how to rap. Hey man, you know how to paint. Hey man, you know how to uh do clothing line. Hey man, you know how to uh do, what, what's it called? Carpentry. But I want you to work a nine to five at a job you can't absolutely stand and struggle for nothing. Hey, you can believe that. Nah, man. I see. Here's the thing about me. I didn't ask for this gift. I didn't ask for this gift. I was born with it. That means this gift had to be given to me. You want to sit up here and tell me, man? I, all the drawings that people who know me personally, man, all the drawings that y'all seen me draw from the Wizard of Oz to whatever. Ever since I was a little kid. And y'all want to sit up here and tell me all this was for nothing? And I'm on, and the only reason why I'm doing this, now I did this because I'm like, I'm already trying to get something up my sleeve for the holiday season for not just for me, but for other people who might want to hit my cash out. And then I did this because this was already a personal order that somebody wanted me uh, to do for them. You want to tell me this all for nothing? 
I had somebody from Washington on my YouTube channel told me, man, you never know who looking at you. And this person told me straight up, hey, please don't stop, bro. Whoever you are, remember me when you famous, man. Don't stop what you're doing. Man, I love your artwork when you post a video, when you be drawing. Y'all, come on, man. Y'all want to say just keep going to work and don't focus on, all right, whatever.